Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. PL SQL tutorial. In this course, we will be learning all about PL SQL and its components in details. This course contains a small introduction about PL SQL in the first chapter. Second chapter, we learn about stored procedure, functions, cursors, demonstrations of triggers, along with the examples, demonstration and project design implementation for hands-on experience. And in the end, we'll have PL SQL interview tips and preparation. So let's start with the chapter one, an introduction about PL SQL. So what do we learn in this chapter? We have what is PL SQL, a small introduction. Why do we need PL SQL? Benefits and advantages of PL SQL. PL SQL block syntax and declaration. And in the end, we'll have a small hello world program and help you to understand how it execute in a complete environment. So what is PL SQL? PL SQL is a block structured language that enables developers to combine the power of SQL with procedural statements. So when we say power of SQL, though SQL is a natural language in a database environment, but it suffers from various inherent disadvantages when used as a conventional programming language. One of them is called a procedural capabilities. When we write statements in SQL, it's a single statement. It cannot execute more than one statement at a time. So that where the PL SQL help us to make a complete sequence of statements in an instruction or a program form and execute it at one time. That help to Oracle engine to process it fast. So SQL is a very powerful tool but its sets of disadvantages prevent it from fully structured programming language. For a fully structured programming language, Oracle provides PL SQL. That's how it came. And PL SQL is a superset of SQL. It's a block structured language that helps to execute the procedural capabilities of the SQL. Now, why do we need PL SQL? Procedural capabilities, as I mentioned and discussed, well, PL SQL sends an entire block of SQL statements to the Oracle engine all in one go. So communication between the program block and the Oracle engine reduces considerably, reducing network traffic, since the Oracle engine got the SQL statement as a single block and it processes this code much faster than it got the code one sentence at a time. There is a definite improvement in the performance time you will see in an Oracle engine. So that's how the SQL code is passed to the Oracle engine at a time for execution and all changes made to the data in the table are done or undone in one go. Fast data processing for multi-user environment? Yes, as we discussed, we can manipulate the data as we do in the SQL, but it also provides facilities of conditional checking, branching and looping along with the entire block and the multi-user environment. That's another point. If you see here, the PL SQL allows declaration and use of variables in the blocks of code. Just like a regular programming language, it has all the variables and declaration and which is, and also it has a multi uh, environment system supporting to a uh, multi environment system. Next, we have developmental tool supports data manipulation and facilities of conditional checking, just like a regular programming language. Improved transaction performance, we discussed about how it improved because once uh, in a go, we are executing number of SQL statements. So that helps to Oracle Engine execute at a time and 
provide a fast data processing. Then we have Portable. It is portable because uh, PLSQL when work in a multi-user environment that is flexible to port to any other database language. And there are so many more just like this. Next, this is the syntax declaration of PLSQL block. This is the major blocks of the PLSQL program. First, we have to mention the declare, where we declarations of memory, variables, constants, cursors, etc. Whatever you want to have a declaration, just like a regular programming language, you know, C, C++, Java, we have variables which is assigned in a memory. So the very first thing what we have to do, initialize it the same way we have to first declare it. Begin. In the begin section, we have SQL executable statements and PL SQL executable statements. Now, what is the difference? This is the place where we merging the SQL and some language uh, facilities, uh, programming language facilities to execute the SQL statement. So this makes two different statements and making a block to process the business or any particular logic exception similarly just like a regular programming language we need to have something to help to handle the errors while during the execution of the code so we have exception handling section in the PL SQL 2 and in the end and just to mention that this is the end of the sequence of statements and uh, we are uh, closing the program now, if you see this process, we have two blocks, PLSQL block of code and Oracle engine. Now, how it is fast processing here, because Oracle engine is not going to execute one statement at a time. First, it will read the PLSQL code. Out of that, it will take the procedural statements and go to the PLSQL engine. And this will be not one at a time. It can just block, pick it up the declaration variables and put it in a PLSQL engine, the sorting kind of thing. The next, the procedural statements will go to the PLSQL again, the SQL statement will go to the SQL statement executor. And that's how it's sorting the statements execution one at a time and more than one statement. So that makes it fast processing, fast data processing and transactions executions during the, uh, in the database accessing. Now, PL SQL execution environment, we need to have some application downloaded and installed in your system to see how it execute. One of them is database server. I support Oracle Express Edition database server 11G, which is available in oracle.com and an IED, IDE, Integrated Development Environment. I support SQL Developer, which is available in oracledate.com. Next, we will learn about Hello World, a simple program, PL SQL block of code, and then we have homework, just for practice. So this is the oracle.com software download. You can download it. These are Oracle Express Edition database server from the download side and SQL Developer as an IDE. You can download and install, follow the instructions. And these are very good and easy and user-friendly application. So this is my Hello World PL SQL program. You can see I have opened my run SQL command prompt. You can use it in your SQL developer. Just to make it a basic and simple, I'm just using the database server right now here. So we have uh, run SQL command prompt. We connect to our database and that's here. I just first thing I need to make sure my server output is on. So I have a statement to pass here. Set server output on. My first block is declare and I'm declaring my string type of variable h similar type of database data type vari variable character 2 and size 20 begin h is assigned to hello world and dbms output dot 
put underscore line this is the method to print the message in PL sequence so this is a procedural statement this is completely a procedural statement h variable I'm not accessing any table I'm not using any SQL statement these are only the procedural statements so this will go to the PL SQL engine execute it at once and it will print you hi and read it from h variable string variable hello world so PL SQL procedure successfully completed so this is my demonstration we have installed database express edition server all you have to open your run SQL command from connect to the database We have to create a table so let's do the edit and this will help to open you an add.sql in the notepad and asking to you to create a new file so I did said yes so first I have to declare I have to declare and I'm making an hello world so h is a variable I'm just declaring and size 20 begin with my declaration and installate initialization this time hello word next dbms output and dot put underscore line method and I am just mentioning and adding a concatenation of the string with my string variable and so this is my script PLS equal first hello world script I said yes now all I have to execute my this script to escape the character and to tell the Oracle engine said this is the end of my sequence of procedural statements need to execute now as you can see it is not showing your output the reason Oracle engine has to understand that this is a server output on instruction now let's try one more time hi hello world PL SQL procedure successfully executed and completed so this is my demonstration for you hello world procedural PL SQL work of code for practice project I have instructions here for you all you have to do just like a programming language we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So what you have to do here, I have sampled here for addition two digits. A plus B equals to C and printing the C value. All you have to do is calculate the average of five inputs and practice making basic calculator using variables and display thank you to exit. Declare the variables, initialize with some numbers, and provide the calculation and printing in the calculator so this will help you to provide you some hands-on experience a little bit to understand how we can write a program in the PL SQL for more assistance you can reach us on tickranch2019 at gmail.com and uh, thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe to the channel so far we have covered PL SQL introduction next chapter I will be covering stored procedure in detail along with demonstration and some homework. Thank you so much. Let's make coding fun.